it is the Bahamican birthday. So wait, before we get your skeleton, have you been to the Bahamas? No, I haven't. Yeah, you said you've never left the country. So how is this Bahamican? Okay. My name is Bob McKinnon, and if you have a couple of Rune Who drinks and say my name five times, it'll come out Bahamican, I guarantee you. Bob McKinnon, Bahama Ken, Bahama Ken, Bahama Ken, Bahama Ken. See? That it actually is Bob McKinnon. It's a... Ah. So it's, it's a... That, how did that happen? What do you call that? I don't know what that's called. It's like... What do you call that? Slang. Yeah, it's like... It's it's like a tongue twister? Mm-hmm. Like, you say it enough sure. times? To, did she you invent so it sure. or did someone else? I just thought of it. And, and um, actually, I was... um. I was at a club in, in Connecticut, and I was managing a band. And after I went up to the bar, and um, and and this girl asked me, you know, who my name was, and I said Bob McKinnon, and she's like Bob McKinnon, and I said, yeah, I like that. And I, I ah. told her I said, always use it for a pen name, and it just stuck. So don't forget Bahama McKinnon. Bahama McKinnon. I want to go to the Bahamas. I haven't been there yet either. But have you ever been to the Bahamas, Miles? I've never been. No, but it looks good. I'd love to go too. Especially after meeting the Hamakin. Of course, yeah. of course. After London, you could do that. Go on a world yeah. tour. I want to do that. Ruin who? That's the world like, tour. Exactly. So we can highlight rising stars and living That's legends right. in every place and bring them out to the world as well. That yeah, is absolutely. the goal of the show, actually. It is. I want to go everywhere because everywhere has people that are talented. And bring everybody and with passionate. us. Passionate. Yeah, exactly. We need the. You'd be like Scooby Doo. I, I, I'm down right. with that. I'm totally down with that. We got the treats, baby. All right, so skeleton from your closet, Bahama Ken. Oh, a skeleton in my closet. Actually, right. I'm still alive, you know. Uh, I, I remember back in high school, and, you know, grab two milks, get one free. You know, uh, actually, you know, base, buy one milk, get two free, I should say. And I how much was one milk back uh, in those days? I think they were 35 cents back then. And what do you think they are now? Um, they're probably about three dollars. Anybody know? Three dollars. Are you serious? Maybe two. Maybe two something. At I least. know. Everything's it's crazy. I feel like my mother and father and grandparents. They have the ante on chocolate milk. When they say we used to go to the movies for a nickel, it's like what? <laughs> a nickel. I don't know, but like you know. Like you said, you got a credit card. Well, right? Alan Merrill is like a great friend and fan of, and we get him on the show a lot. He wrote um, "I Love Rock and Roll." Yes. And the last time I heard Don't him sing so. it. Well, he wrote it, and oh, Joe Jett oh, made it go it. over the top. Yeah. And um, and the last time he sang it, he sang, I love rock and roll, put a credit card in the jukebox, <laughs> baby. Yeah. And I just thought that was so brilliant. Yeah. Floyd money. Exactly. Well, today is the day that um, The Wall came out. Pink Floyd released The Wall. And in two weeks, six million copies were sold. On I actually that looked is at, phenomenal. That really I is. actually lived in London. During that time, and um, we used to blast it out of my window of our flat when the little kids would be walking down the street in their school uniforms. We would, we would, we don't need no, yep. and, and they would all be like, "Yay!" That's so, so I funny. know. I think that's the only song that has that background choir like that. It, yeah, I know. Did you like the Pink Floyd? I, I had love a friend the whole that. Bell. Pink Floyd is really an influence on me. If Pink Floyd. Um, John Lennon, um, Cat Stevens, really, the ballad, Neil Young? you know, the ballad, Neil Young, Bob Dylan, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, and I do Neil Young songs, too. You know. I love Neil Young, too. I, 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 when the cover songs, the reason I do cover songs is because I, I do respect where I came from and where I learned from, too, you know? Yeah. Other than just originals, it's influenced from like, Bob Dylan, you know, mm-hmm. even Janice, you know what I mean? It's like, you can pick up certain things from everybody. It's you know? true. Do you do any covers? Yeah, I do some Toby Good Shack covers. Ooh. Do you know that guy? No, I don't. Who's Toby? Oh, he's, uh, he's a current artist. You know, very talented man. He's been in all the features. Oh, uh, Kimia. I knew Kimia. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. My grandmother was in vaudeville, and she used to always say that the only way you can improve your own originals is by covering other songs. It's the only way you can get good, she used to tell me. You gotta, it's like, it's like making a soup. You gotta throw in, like, you know. She's like, you can't just do your own songs. Right. You'll never grow. Right. But you will grow if you really, you know, work on other people's material. And I, I know it's true. Because when you do work on other people's material, don't you feel that you get a good song out of it? Well, you pick up technique, basically. That's all. 
And that's how you become you, yes. who you are. Little bits and pieces from each, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and you don't know how it becomes your own, but the, if you get a little bit and piece from each, you know, artist, that eventually you're going to create a new monster and it's your original. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. I mean, that is what <laughs> we do. Awesome. That's, so, um, that's awesome. You know, it's not that you copy, it's how you copy. That's right. There you go. That's what the music is. That's good. But so do you have any last shout-outs, Bahama Kim? What's just, your website? How do um, people find you? Every people can find me on Facebook, B-A-H-A-M-A-K-I-N, Bahama Kim, on Facebook. And I'd like to say hi to everyone out there on Facebook. And it's your birthday. And it's my birthday today down so here in So what are you going to eat for dinner? Um, Cake. We're going to go down to Greenwich Village and... And have we haven't decided yet. That's That'd be a good. surprise. That's and, good. And, goes. and, and yeah. yeah. We're getting coffee beans. That's right. Because you, you, beans. you did share your milk little video. Yeah, there. you betcha. Do you, you still drink milk? milk? I still drink milk. You but do? I pay for it now. Ah, uh, you pay for it. credit card. Probably. Ah. <laughs> and how, yeah, exactly. I know. A lot of people don't drink milk anymore. Got milk? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Got milk? Got ruined who? Yeah. Oh, Bahama Kin. Yeah, Happy right. birthday. You're so. Ruined who? And Bahama Kin. And Miles. And Miles over here. The man the right. one. And Miles, you got some last words for us. I do. I'd just like to say that I love the Hound King. Hey. Aww. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so Thank sweet. you very much. We'll be back with more on Rue. And wait, let's have him say it. I like how Bahama King says And we'll be right back with Rue and Who after this commercial interruption. Yeah. <laughs> and then it happened.